Kevin Holland, right? I'm grateful for that answer. Uh, environmental uh, regulations and restrictions, are, for example, on pesticides, are there for good reasons, but they cost our farmers money, either in terms of sourcing alternatives or in lower yields. Therefore, farmers I speak to are very concerned at the use of some of the chemicals that are banned here, for example, paraquat in Australia and neonicotinoids in large parts of the European Union, which they're not allowed to use. Therefore, their costs are higher. Will these matters be dealt with in these trade deals so we do get that fair and level playing field? Well, there are many things that we can do to uh, drive uh, international standards and also uh, improve uh, in other areas animal welfare, but also, for example, uh, on uh, uh, um, encouraging others not to use particular pesticides which uh, affect um, uh, insects that we're rather keen uh, were around a bit more. Um, but there are many things that we can do outside of FTAs to do that. Uh, and we have done that. We've been a champion, as he will know, on many of these issues. However, uh, I very much take my responsibilities to uh, really understand both what the opportunities are for our farmers uh, in not just volumes but value uh, of what they produce uh, and also understand the additional costs that they may face in producing uh, very high quality produce, which is obviously very welcome. I do have a, uh, a deep and growing understanding of these matters. I work very closely with our colleagues in DEFRA, and I think that when we get into the detail and we're understanding the detail of that, and we're talking to agriculture commissioners uh, and other ministers around the world, uh, we will arrive uh, at the right place on all of the trade deals that we are doing, which are obviously bespoke to each nation.